The performance of the 16-year-old KTM RC2025 is unknown, but considering the present difference between the two bikes and the advantage held by Borgo Panigale, it is hard to see it outperforming its rival from Ducati. On the other hand, Enea Bastianini's season has started off well. To put it plainly, he was unaware of how to match the Desmo Sedici wielding opponents, especially those of his teammate Pecco Bagnaia. Due to the fact that he was never truly considered for his own extension, this necessarily works against him. We anticipated him staying at Pramac for a while, as we believed that he was closely associated with Ducati, or perhaps he would go back to Grassini. Ultimately, KTM Tech 3 will host it. It's true that the French squad is still an institution, but compared to the Ducati factory team, it offers more of an alternative. To wit, four out of the last seven Tech 3 pilots did not end up in MotoGP with standard handlebars. Of course, there is a noticeable difference, especially considering that we were using the handlebars that we now wanted on the grid. For Jorge Martin, the circumstances are marginally different, but the conclusion is essentially the same. The Aprilia RSGP is an excellent motorcycle, and the Noal team has been doing quality work for a while now. However, the outcomes are a little lacklustre, given that we knew his entry within the Ducati factory team was imminent, that it was accessible, and that he desired it. Since he did not receive what he desired, and, in all honesty, the finest option, he is actually one of the losers. Even if it's not the worst option available, he was forced to rely on it at the last minute. What puts him here is the discrepancy between what is expected of him, which is also connected to his outstanding performance on the track, and his prospects going forward. Staying at Ducati might have helped Jorge Martin's career, but pride is allegedly a major motivator. When Martin's dreams of riding for the factory Ducati team were dashed in 2025, he made the decision to sign with Aprilia. There has been discussion about his choice to leave the top bike on the grid rather than continue with the Ducati satellite team. Martin of Pramac is 10 points behind Peko Bagnaia at the top of the MotoGP standings this season. Next season, Martin plans to challenge Ducati's Italian rivals with the number one plate while riding equivalent equipment. The beginning of the new season of Top Gun, which is better than Bestia, makes the fall less hard than it was for Enea Bastianini. Vinales will be switching to KTM Tech 3 for the upcoming season, which will require him to part with the Aprilia, a vehicle capable of winning and potentially finishing in the top three of the general classification. It's ironic that this transfer happened just when Maverick finally seemed to be comfortable with his material. Even though his performance at the beginning of the year was a little off, which is probably not surprising to anyone. It has been cautioned to Maverick Vinales that KTM may not be as understanding as Aprilia, his present company. Vinales, along with Enea Bastianini, will leave his factory Aprilia seat for the redesigned Tech 3 team in the upcoming season. Vinales, who this year became the first rider to win a MotoGP race for four different manufacturers, will have the opportunity to further extend his extraordinary record. But he's been informed that his new surroundings might result in more pressure. In the past, KTM has used its satellite team to develop Moto2 champions, like Pedro Acosta and Augusto Fernandez in their current lineup. The addition of two seasoned riders from factory teams, Vinales and Bastianini, signifies a radical shift in outlook. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos of MotoGP. Thanks for watching.